numerous different tropical fish, some in schools and some alone, swim through clear blue sea above a bed of bright coral colored with pinks, oranges, and blues. On-screen text reads, coral reefs are underwater ecosystems teeming with life, but what are these huge structures made of? A man in glasses speaks to the camera. On-screen text reads, Leonardo Bettini, museum scientist. They look like plants or rocks, but they're actually animals like you and me. Most corals start life as a microscopic lava, which swims around searching for a place to settle down. An animation shows a pink organism with a peanut shell shape rest on an olive green surface, subsequently developing into a cluster of pink and pale orange polyps. When it finds what's looking for, it attaches to a surface and matures into a stationary form called a polyp. It then starts producing more identical polyps and secreting a hard skeleton around itself. As the colony grows, more and more skeletons get built on top of each other and eventually form the massive structure we know as a reef. The animations show a fully formed reef with various brightly colored coral. Most of the colors of coral come from algae, which provide most of the coral's food in return for shelter provided by the coral. Purple and red rings colored by algae sway atop the coral. An underwater camera pans above a shallow bed of coral colored with patches of white as tropical fish swim gently throughout the area. When a coral bleaches due to heat stress and pollution, it turns white and this is a signal that they have lost their algae and will struggle to find enough food to survive. An animation of a fully formed reef with various brightly colored coral appears, overlaid on the left-hand side with a narrow semi-opaque black rectangle on which the credits are displayed. Film, Benjamin Weber, Khalil Thurloway. Science, Leonardo Bettini. Archive, Shutterstock. Music, Audio Network. On the right-hand side, the Natural History Museum logo, consisting of the words Natural History Museum, displayed in a column flanked by a large letter N on the left. Text at the bottom reads, Copyright owned by the trustees of the Natural History Museum, London.